Hey what's up guys, in this video we will be taking a look at Cyanogen mod on Samsung Galaxy S4 mini which is a dual sim variant. I'll be also providing links for the other variant of Samsung S4 mini device in my video description and also step by step instructions as how to install it onto your device. So do check out the video description and download the required files for your device. I won't be going into much deeper about the customization of the device but I'll be giving you my experience with the phone that I had while using CM12 on S4 mini. I have been using this device for about 2 days and while using it I didn't find any lag or whatsoever or even any force close of any application while using this ROM on my S4 mini. There might be bugs here and there but this can be used as a daily drive on your S4 mini. The Android version that currently I am running on S4 mini which is dual sim variant is Android version 5.0.2 which is the latest and greatest version of Android as of now. I have tested the camera on this ROM and it runs great without losing the photo quality. There are a lot of customizations available along this ROM so that you can tweak a hell lot of things on your Samsung Galaxy S4 mini. When talked about the internet, the Wi-Fi works flawlessly. I didn't find any drop Wi-Fi issues while using this ROM on my S4 mini. And also the data connection works flawlessly without any issues. The call quality is also good. I used both the sims for taking calls on my phone. I didn't find any drop calls or whatsoever. Overall, the call quality is good on a Samsung S4 mini using Cyanogen Mod 12. The Cyanogen Mod is known for its tweaks and the smoothness. Uh, with this ROM, it maintains the smoothness on the Samsung Galaxy S4 mini giving you the best Android experience that you had on your device. So guys, this was my review of a CM12 on Samsung Galaxy S4 mini dual sim variant. Hope you guys found this video helpful and if you do, please do hit the like button down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Google Plus and also to remain subscribed to my YouTube channel for the more Android content that I'll be uploading in the near future. Till then, I'll be seeing you in my next video.